Set. Willie Gall on the left, Doki Williams on the right, and Willie Gall has a great start. Forget it, this one's over. Willie's easing up at just 40 yards. When you make a mistake against Willie Gall in 60 yards, the race is over. And this one was over right oh. Oh. <laughs> Glance over, saying to himself, I'm still in it, I think. <laughs> As you see... Forty yards out, the race is all over. Willie Gault eases in with his first victory. Willie Gault, definitely the man to beat, but still to come. The Denver Broncos' Vance Johnson going against the Cincinnati Bengals' Eddie Brown. And maybe the best match of the day, Daryl Green of the Redskins against Philip Epps of the Packers. And Anthony Carter of the Vikings against Ron Brown of the L.A. Rams. Ahmad Rashad, along with Jimmy Cephalo, back at College of the Desert in Palm Desert, California, for a sprint, NFL's fastest man. And we're ready now for Heat 2. Vance Johnson on the left, Eddie Brown on the right, and Vance is out front in 25 yards. Eddie Brown got the quicker start, but Vance had the speed to blow by him. Well, I guess those shoes didn't really help Eddie Brown that much, but Vance Johnson is a true sprinter. And like I said earlier, Eddie Brown is not really a sprinter. He's never run track before. He just has raw speed. Coming out of the blocks, it's all Vance Johnson. He's so smooth. He's got very good form, and that's what's so important in a race like this. Oh, there's some competition going here. Can you imagine them playing against each other next year? Depending on who wins this race, they're going to have a disadvantage going to a game in the fall. Daryl Green on the right with the headband, and yeah. Philip Epps on the left. Philip Epps is out first at 30 yards. They're dead even. Daryl Green is catching up with him. Ah, photo finish. Can't call that a mod. It's too close. That race, there is no room for error in that race. And these guys, you know, the amazing thing was Philip Epps jumped out like two steps ahead of Daryl Green, and Daryl caught him. That's unbelievable. That's only nine one-hundredths of a second off the world record time of mine. Well, they still don't know who won this race. I'm confused. The official timer's confused. All right, now watch Philip Epps come out of the blocks. He's staying low, and he's two steps ahead of Daryl. But like all good defensive backs, he's got that closing speed. And watch him close on Philip Epps about halfway through the race. Yeah, but then it shifts back the other way. Now watch Epps come back and catch right back up with Daryl, and that set up the photo finish. These two young men can flat out fly. See, there's Epps right now. He catches him right at the end, and that's, that's just still too close to call. Well, here's another look at it coming straight on. Look at the determination in their faces, though. Watch him, Daryl on the right. Look at that, look at that determination, that drive right at the end. Another look, Daryl talked about becoming a little raggedy at the end, and he did, but the finish is so close, the winner will have to be determined by our official timer. Jimmy? We just uh, heard from the, uh, the the photo finish that you won it just by a hair. was uh, the best race we've had thus far. Now, going into the rest of the races, you think you can beat Willie Gall, don't you? I, th I think I can beat any of these guys coming here. But, like I say, that, that remains to be seen. Ron Brown on the right of the L.A. Rams and Anthony Carter of the Vikings on the left. Set. He's got a good start out of the blocks, and that's all he has because Ron Brown is turning on the afterburners, and he styles through to a nice, easy win. And later on, here comes Anthony Carter through the finish line. That's really not fair because Ron Brown, actually one of the fastest people who has ever played in the NFL, will find out if he's the fastest guy today, but watch as Ron Brown other blocks. It's all over right at the beginning. Well, Anthony Carter, we must say, is one of the finest receivers in the National Football League, and he has a good sense of humor as you see him smile through the finish line. And he's in our category, <laughs> slow. <laughs> So we now have our four semifinalists, and still to come, Willie Gold of the world champion Chicago Bears against Vance Johnson of the Denver Broncos, and Ron Brown of the L.A. Rams against Daryl Green of the Washington Redskins. Jimmy Cephalo along with Ahmad Rashad at the College of the Desert for the NFL's fastest man, 95 degrees with very little humidity. Our first two semifinalists, Galton Johnson, less than one-tenth of a second separated them. Hans Johnson on the right, and Willie Galt on the left. Set. And it's Vance Johnson with a great start, and Willie Galt once again late coming out of the box, but he shows his great closing speed and takes the race. And that's where Willie's great track experience of the past comes into play. Didn't get nervous, not excited, just because he was a little behind coming out of the blocks. He knew he had enough strength, experience, and speed to overtake Vance Johnson, and he does at about the 40-yard mark. 
For most runners in a 60-yard dash race, if you get a bad start, the race is all over. But not for Willie Galt. He showed his great closing speed and won the race. Willie Galt has already made it through. He's the top seed into the finals. Now Ron Brown, number two seeded. Let's see if he can make it that far. All right, Dale Green on the right with the headband and Ron Brown on the left. Sit. It's Ron Brown out of the blocks first, but here comes Dale Green. And I think it's going to be an upset. It's Dale Green first across the line. Green has been saying all day that he's the fastest man here. Now with a chance to prove it against Willie Galt in the finals. Well, there aren't many men in the world that can catch Ron Brown, one of the fastest men in the world, in a 60-yard dash, but Dale Green does it. So the finals are set. Willie Galt, as expected, and a surprise. Daryl Green of the Washington Redskins. When we come back, a classic confrontation. Wide receiver versus defensive back. Two interested spectators will be standing on the sideline. There's Denise Galt, the wife, of course, of Willie Galt. She'll be rooting for that $20,000 check. And there's Jewel Green, the wife of Daryl. And Daryl is here looking for some notoriety because he said defensive backs get none. Willie Galt, I'm sure on his mind, is that 6.09 that Daryl posted earlier. And Willie has a lot to lose here. The reputation on the line being one of the fastest people in the world and Daryl Green trying to gain that reputation as a defensive back and simply as a star, as he put it. He wants to be a star in the NFL. This is his shot. All right, Willie Galt on the right, Daryl Green with the headband on the left. $20,000 on the line along with the reputation. Sit. And it's a good start. They can't even come out of the box. But all of a sudden, Dale Green starts to pull on Willie Gold. He won't catch you. Dale Green is the fastest man in the NFL. It's an upset. Willie Galt had slow starts all day long, but here in the final, he had his best start of the day, but he still could not catch Dale Green from behind. Dale Green has a great deal of strength, and he shows it here. From 40 yards in, there was no way that Willie Galt was going to catch him. Well, they call Dale Green MX, as in the missile, and right here, he shows that interstellar overdrive. <laughs> he puts the overdrive in here and the afterburners, and he pulls away from Willie Galt at about that 40-yard mark. Well, he's been looking for notoriety. I think he got it right here because there is no, I mean, he beats Willie Gold here by two yards and becomes Sprint's NFL's fastest man. There's a happy couple, Daryl and Jewel Green, $20,000 richer. And once again, look at the determination on Daryl Green's face. Well, the arguments in training camp will be a lot shorter about who's the fastest man in the NFL. So Daryl Green of the Washington Redskins wins it. Second place was Willie Gall of the world champion Chicago Bears, followed by Ron Brown of the Rams and Vance Johnson of the Broncos. Incidentally, Daryl Green posted three of the top four heat times. Once again, our congratulations to the Washington Redskins' Daryl Green, the fastest man in the NFL.